with the best locations to visit in Paris. You can experience romance and the most personal beauty of architecture. Paris, being one of the most beautiful places to visit, boasts a dazzling skyline, vibrant city life, and historic attractions, making it a one-stop destination for tourists. As you stroll through the bustling streets of Paris, you will be surrounded by museums, palaces, and historical sites. While Paris vintage air has made it a dreamland, the city's mystic emotions are enhanced by expensive and boutique cafes and restaurants. The cityscape's glimpses of malls and shopping destinations provide visitors with the ideal holiday season experience. Paris is the top-listed attraction in France and the most visited holiday destination where you can spend the most luxuriating vacation. Let's see best places to visit in Paris. Number 1. Eiffel Tower The Eiffel Tower is one of the most famous landmarks in the world, not just in Paris. The Iron Tower is a marvel of engineering as well as a powerful emblem of the City of Lights. It is a must-see attraction for any tourist to Paris. The issue is that everyone else wants to see the Eiffel Tower as well. The Eiffel Tower is the world's most visited paid monument, with an average of 25,000 visitors every day. New security procedures may cause the visiting process to take even longer. You should plan ahead of time if you value your time when visiting the Eiffel Tower. Number 2. Louvre The Louvre Museum, often known as the Great Louvre, is France's national museum and is located on the right side of Philip Augustus's 12th century fortification. It is one of the world's most popular museums, with exhibits ranging from ancient civilization through the mid-19th century. On the banks of the Seine River in Paris, the majestic, Baroque-styled mansion and museum. It is one of France's and Europe's most popular tourist destinations. Egyptian antiquities, ancient Greek and Roman sculptures, crown jewels, old master paintings, and treasures from French aristocrats are among the items in the Louvre's collection. It has artifacts dating from the 6th century BC to the 19th century AD. At any given time, the museum has around 35,000 works on exhibit. Number 3. Notre Dame Cathedral One of Paris' most enduring symbols. Notre Dame de Paris, also known as Notre Dame, is a Roman Catholic cathedral on the Isle de la Cite's eastern part. It is widely regarded as one of France's and Europe's greatest examples of French Gothic architecture. With its entrances flanked by as many sculptures and gargoyles that grace the ceiling, this cathedral, begun in 1163 and completed in 1345, is a marvel to behold. We recommend taking a tour of the cathedral before entering and climbing the 387 steps to the summit of the towers. The journey to the top of the towers is strenuous, but it rewards you with a panoramic view of the region and close-up views of the iconic gargoyles. Number 4. Arc de Triomphe The Arc de Triomphe, which translates to Triumphal Arch of the Star, is without a doubt the most well-known landmark in Paris, France. It was designed by Jean Chalgrini's and built in 1806, long before the Eiffel Tower. This historically significant monument was built in commemoration of all those heroic warriors who sacrificed their lives for France during the Napoleonic Wars and the French Revolution. It is located in the heart of Place Charles de Gaulle and on the westernmost point of the famed Champs Élysées Avenue. On its inner and outer edges, this aesthetically rich yet astonishing arc stores the names of all French generals and conquest, as well as inspirational patriotic phrases and sentiments, whilst beneath it lies the tomb of the unknown soldier from the First World War. Number 5. Montmartre Montmartre is full of delights, with its cobblestone streets, artisans, bistros, and the beautiful basilica. Montmartre is one of the most famous Parisian districts, situated on the summit of a small hill in the 18th arrondissement. The area has changed from its traditional village ambience of the 19th and 20th centuries, which drew so many artists. Montmartre has also been featured in a number of popular culture stories. It is the City of Light's highest point. Montmartre is a cultural, artistic, and musical melting pot. As a tourist, the greatest thing to do is wander through the streets and visit the museums, art galleries, and other cultural hotspots. From the summit of Sacre Coeur, the city's most famous landmark, and a masterpiece of grandeur and grace, you can get a fantastic perspective of the city. Number 6. Palais Garnier the Palais Garnier, or Palais Garnier, is one of Paris' most well-known and spectacular landmarks. It represents the Second Empire's luxury. The current construction of the Palais Garnier, which was commissioned by Napoleon Roman III in 1861, is nothing short of a magnificent architectural marvel. As soon as you enter, you will notice a large chandelier suspended from the Opera Garnier ceiling, 
weighing 7 tons of solid bronze. The entire Gardner Opera is a great work of classicism and quirkiness. The main facade was designed to look like a stage set. With stone columns and arcades, it was totally dedicated to the lyric piece of art. Exquisite statues, carvings, and sculptures decorate every inch of this magnificent structure. The sumptuous bleeding red and golden seating area in the theater is a sight to behold. The auditorium stage is large enough to host 450-plus artists at once. Number 7. Place de la Concorde If you are on a tour of Paris and don't stop by the Place de la Concorde, you're missing out. The Place de la Concorde is one of Paris' most popular public squares. Many notable Paris landmarks surround the Place de la Concorde, including the Champs-Élysées to the west and the Pont de la Concorde to the south. Place de la Concorde has a long and illustrious history behind it. And Jacques Gabriel created the building in the shape of an octagon in 1755. The area was given the name Place Louis XV in honor of Louis XV. The French Naval Ministry was in charge of the area's eastern corner and the structures there. Number 8. Musée d'Orsay Musée d'Orsay, located on the banks of the Seine River in Paris, is a renowned site for collective art spaces specializing in French art. It was built as a train station, but over time it was transformed into a museum. This exhibition hall, which represents Impressionist and Post-Impressionist art genres, has enticed visitors and art lovers from all over the world. The design of the Musée d'Orsay was conceived by Guy Alenti in 1980, and it took more than seven years to build. A multitude of modifications and restorations have been completed to transform this historic architectural gem from a railroad station to a thriving museum. Number 9. Tuileries Garden The Jardin des Tuileries, located between the Place de la Concorde and the Louvre Museum, was the first public garden in Paris. It is still one of the most prized parks in the city, having been commissioned by Henry Roman II's queen consort, Catherine de Medici. Tuileries is the name of the majestic palace and the lush park. Within the palace grounds were the Tuileries, which were tile-making factories or workshops. The garden is now a public park where many tourists Locals enjoy leisurely strolls along its lovely tree-lined walks. Tuileries Garden attracts visitors from all over the world, who want peace and quiet away from the city's hustle and bustle. The park is also a great area to sunbathe on one of its benches. Tuileries Garden is a must-see tourist attraction in Paris, not only because of its beautiful scenery but also because of its strategic location. This is the place to go if you're seeking for a lush sanctuary with sculptures and fountains in the heart of the city. Number 10. Seine River Our eyes crave a pleasing view, which you can find in Paris. The Seine River is the pride of Paris, serving as a dividing yet unifying landmark amid the City of Lights. For its snake-like course across the city, it's also known as Sequana. The evolution of Paris has been witnessed via the River Seine. Seine has been the harbinger of prosperity through its navigable waters from the time of the Parisians around 250 B.C. The residents of Paris recognize its commercial importance even now. The majority of the city's landmarks are located along the Seine's banks. You get vistas of every major and spectacular structure, gardens, cityscape, and cheery people as you sail across the slow-moving water.